Hi, this is Robert and Christian back with another video and another very important new feature in Visual KPI. And this is the AF integration server. And what we mean by AF there is OSI Soft's Pi AF or Asset Framework. Um, so to get us started, uh, Christian, why don't you tell us what is OSI's Pi AF? Certainly, Robert. OSI's Pi AF is a way in which a Pi customer um, can do a couple things. Uh, most importantly, they can model their physical or logical assets, um, usually a hierarchical nature. Uh, secondly, if you have um, you know, many Pi servers, it kind of abstracts where tags are inside of your system, and it abstracts the tag name. So instead of needing to know some long, complicated tag name, you can reference things with this concept of element attributes. So you can say this is a plant one, some unit, pressure. And you don't really care what Pi server that comes from. You don't really care what the tag name is. You know, everybody in your in your company and all the applications you write can then leverage that. So this is a pretty powerful thing for a Pi customer to have in general, is to have AF there. And why this matters for us, I'll try to give it a shot. But Christian, fill in where I miss here, and that is. Um, in a current Visual KPI system, you're building up all your metadata and all your attributes and your hierarchy in the Visual KPI Designer, which is based on Excel and is very powerful for a lot of our customers. But if you had another place where this is modeled or some of this information lives, um, you could end up having it in two places and having a little bit of extra work there. But if you have a full AF model or even a partial one, you can use that AF model as the source behind not only your data, but also a source for your metadata or for all this configuration data. Is that right? Yeah, that's 100% correct. I mean, we've had for a long time, we've had an AF interface. So if you had a model and you wanted to pull out um, an attribute or two from your model, that's a great way to go. Um, what we're seeing is oh, this is a very big push AF uh, from OSI, and more and more customers are now starting to really, you know, sink their teeth into it. It's a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's a big investment. Um, but it's it's hugely beneficial once you make that investment. So what we thought was once people are modeling their data inside of, of Pi AF with the Pi System Explorer tool you see here, um, it didn't make sense if they wanted that same sort of structure with their KPIs and Visual KPI to say, well, go in and create a plant one group and a sum unit group and a pressure KPI. Why not just pull the entire, not only the data for the pressure KPI, but also the structure and the, and the hierarchy in which it lives in, pull it all from AF. So now AF becomes not only your, your source of data for like the KPIs themselves, that also becomes your source of our metadata or our groupings of, of data. So again, I think you, you highlight something really important, which is it's a really big investment. And so rather than make that investment and then also do some, your work in a second place, just leverage that big investment. So um, huge deal. It's a very important thing for a lot of our customers here. So let's skip uh, all the talking part and uh, why don't you show it to us? Sure. So what I've done here, Robert, is I've modeled a very, very simple, um, you know, ridiculously simple, two, two AF elements and a couple of AF attributes. Um, I did this for simplicity, so you, it's not a complicated model that you have to understand. It's a plant with a unit. Um, obviously, you could have, you know, 100, 200, 1,000 different elements um, with hundreds and hundreds of attributes. So it's, it's very scalable. And what we're going to show you here is... Um, Here's my model. It's all checked in. Everything's fine. I have my um, Visual KPI instance here that has nothing in it. It's a, a blank, freshly installed Visual KPI instance. I've created no groups, no KPIs, no values, uh, nothing at all. And what I'm going to do now is in my Visual KPI server manager, you might notice when you install it, we've had this uh, available for a while now, but you'll have a new service called the Visual KPI AF integration server. And it has a bunch of different properties you can set. Really, all I set is I pointed to my AF demo database. And this is the same database going back here again that I'm leveraging in my Pi System Explorer. So this has my plant one subunit and two attributes, pressure and temperature on that unit. And if I go ahead and I say go ahead and start this interface, this service, what we'll see is the AF integration server is going to walk my, my model in AF it's going to convert the AF elements into visual KPI groups, and it's going to convert the attributes into other visual KPI objects like KPIs or values. And let's go ahead and see that should be done now. And we'll go ahead and we'll refresh our screen. And as you can see now, what we have, we have a plant one group, 
which is the same as our plant one element. If I go into plant one group, I have some unit. And if I go into some unit, I have to us values. So we have our pressure and our temperature. You'll notice it's pulled in things like the UOM, it's pulled in the description, and you get a trend of your data right away. Now, one of the interesting things here is these are values and not KPIs to us because there is no indication um, to us that this is a KPI. In AF, there's no concept of KPIs. You just have values. So in order, if we wanted to make those KPIs, we need to assign some limits to them. And that's very simple to do, and I'll show you how to do that now. In my AF model here, I have a um, what's called an AF uh, element template for the unit. So I'm going to go into my library. I'm going to go into this unit element template. As you can see here, these are just very simple, pointing to pi, getting data out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of child attributes. And there's a whole bunch of keywords we'll talk about at the end, but really I want Visual KPI to know, hey, I want this to be a KPI. So for this pressure, I'm going to give it a high child attribute. And let's give it a value here of, say, 50. And for my temperature, I'm going to give it a different child attribute. Maybe this one's a low. Maybe I want to be uh, signified or signaled when um, low outages occur. And I'm going to give this a default value of, say, I don't know, 20. Okay. So now if I go ahead and look at my elements now, you'll see that they have these little child attributes or sub-attributes. Now, nothing is happening in the background until I check in. Once I check in my object model, my AF model, Visual KPI is going to notice that, hey, that pressure, which I knew was a value, is now going to be a KPI. And I'll show you that here. We'll go over to the browser. And I'll go back home. And now you can see that we actually have KPIs. We got a good and high. So let's drill in. Plant one, some unit. And instead of those being values, now we know that not only does it have an actual, which is basically what that is now, the, the original value, it also has some limits around it. So we know that, hey, this is a KPI. So right around now you have your pressure is high and your temperature is in a normal range. So it's that simple to turn those values into KPIs. So kind of out of the box, what you would get if you didn't have these, these sub-attributes is you would still be able to, just by pointing the service to your database, to get your entire AF model, um, not only in a web format, but also in a format that is extremely mobile friendly. I mean, Visual KPI is meant for mobile devices. So if you want to mobilize your entire AF database, you can do that quite simply by pointing the service at it. Just to clarify here, you just turned on that service and pointed it to the right place, and it instantly populated an empty Visual KPI implementation with everything it needed from AF without you really doing anything. And then by adding those child attributes to some of those things, you turn them into KPIs. So here in just a few minutes, and even if you had a, a an AF database that was filled with thousands of things, those would instantly be represented in Visual KPI, and only if you were adding those things like the KPI level things would you, that's the only work you'd need to do to turn those into KPIs, and you may have already done that work. That's exactly right, Robert. I mean, if you look at the Visual KPI Designer, we have a lot of columns. There's a lot of different pieces of data. There's info fields. There's latitude and longitude, or geolocation, so it shows up on a KPI map. Um, there's custom attributes. There's a whole bunch of different things you can add in the Visual KPI Designer. The beauty of this is, is we've mapped every one of those to AF attributes. So anything you can do inside the Visual KPI Designer, you can do inside of the AF model as sub-attributes, and it will pick those things up and render them in a way that would normally be rendered through the designer. So great, and we have published a document that goes through all of this in detail, and I think it's a very strong recommendation that if you have AF or you care about AF or you're looking at AF, that you take a look at this document and see sort of what's been done here. It's a very powerful combination. Anything else to add, Christian? Yeah, you can also mix and match these to some degree, too. You can have, if you already have some stuff modeled out in the designer and then you want to add some things from an AF, uh, an AF model, you can do that. You can opt in um, on an AF model. So suppose I didn't care about some of these attributes. I could say, you know what, Visual KPI, ignore those. Or I could do it the other way around and say ignore everything unless I say, hey, Visual KPI, use this. 
you can also point that at any level in this in this object model and say, you know what, just start at some unit, ignore plant one. So it's a very flexible thing. And and Robert, what I would say is a step further than just reading the documentation, which is a great idea, give us a call. Uh, once you see this, you're going to be blown away with how cool this is and how easy this is to use. We will literally increase that investment you've already made in those fantastic OSI soft pie tools and we'll make that investment worth even more instantly. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Christian. Um, the last thing I'll say is if you are already a Visual KPI customer, all you have to do is upgrade to the latest version and you get all of this for free. And if you have not tried Visual KPI yet, please go to transpara.com and sign up for a free trial and we can even give you a free pilot on top of AF. So thank you, Christian, and thanks for watching.